In a recent video, I covered how you can use qualifying questions on your lead generation forms to trigger a conversion event for specific people or specific leads that answer the question in a positive manner. So in this case here, are you pre-approved for a mortgage in the case of somebody generating a home buyer leads? This question would be important. Uh, and a positive yes would probably be a more serious lead. And we want to send that back to Facebook for the people that answer yes. So subsequently, Facebook algorithm gets us more people that answer yes or people like that, right? And we do this by sending them to a separate thank you page. What I'm going to do is cover how to set this up in WordPress using WP Forms. So for this, you're going to need WP Forms. You're going to need the paid plugin. Uh, you're going to need the 3951 that starts out right here and has conditional logic and multi-page forms. So go ahead and get that. Look for my affiliate link below if you appreciate me making this video and sharing this insight with you guys. Now, here is my WP form set up on a WordPress site. And here's a question again. This is all kind of coming from the basis of someone looking to generate home buyer leads. Uh, you're going to need to come up with your own questions based on your own industry and market. But what area are you looking to buy in? User selects, goes on to the next step. Um, and that's important to note. That is a custom feature I added in. I got a video on how to make that auto advance on select happen. Like just what you see here. Otherwise, the user has to select next in between every time they click it, right? Uh, but let's go through this. What are you looking to buy in? Are you pre-approved by a lender? That could be an important qualifying question, but I like this one. How soon are you looking to move? I need to move in the next month. I need to move in the next three months. I'm considering moving in the next six months. Well, anybody that selects the first two options they need to move is certainly a much more qualified buyer lead than anybody that selects this. So let's set it up to get these people. Oops. Let's set it up to get these people that select one of these options to go to their own thank you page so we can use that as the conversion event. Here's how we do it in WP Forms. We're going to go into WP Forms, select the form we want, and select Edit. It's going to load sooner or later. And then we're going to click Settings. And then we're going to select Confirmations, right? And here's where we're going to set it up. So we are going to select go to URL, right? And then we're going to select enable conditional logic. And we're going to use this confirmation if, and you can select your question, uh, how soon are you looking to move is I need to move in the next month or how soon are you looking to use is how, how soon are you looking to use how soon are you looking to move is I need to move in the next three months right so if anybody matches these we need to send them to a separate URL and you'll need to create this on your own so you'll need to create a special thank you page just for these people and it could just be clone of your negative page but uh, it just needs to have a different URL for that conversion event which I'm assuming you're familiar with if you're watching this video so let's just say HTTP uh, my demosite.com slash positive thank you. All right, so everybody that answers this question positively goes to this page. And we will add a new confirmation and I'm just gonna call this one positive right here. Okay, so there it is. Now let's set up the negative confirmation, right? So go to URL. And we'll just at this point skip the, or not skip, but for the moment, just skip the logic. Um, my demo site dot com slash negative. Thank you. Right. Like I said, you'll need to make these pages enable conditional, conditional logic. Use this confirmation if, uh, how soon are you looking to move? The question is, and it's our negative answer. Okay. And then at this point, we don't need to add new because I don't think we need to add another one. That covers everybody, save. Now with this done, like I said, anybody that uh, you know answers this question positively with these answers will go to the positive thank you page. Anybody that answers it negatively will go to the negative thank you page. And then as I've got on my diagram, you can set up your Facebook conversion event 
just to match the URL for that positive thank you. So that's how you use WP Forms conditional thank you page, I guess? WP Forms conditional thank you page uh, and subsequently how it ties into the bigger picture of optimizing your conversion event and getting higher quality leads. So that's a wrap on this video, guys. If you like what I got here, look for my Facebook group, No Bullshit Marketing. I'll see you on the inside. Otherwise, I'm signing off on this one.